In a significant development in the ongoing case of the Idaho murders, the defense team representing suspect Brian Koberger has taken a unique approach. They have enlisted the expertise of a genealogist to challenge the DNA evidence that ties him to the killings, marking a notable twist in the legal proceedings. Koberger has been accused of involvement in a series of murders that shook the community. The prosecution's case relies heavily on DNA evidence found at the crime scenes, which they assert links Koberger to the gruesome acts. However, in a bid to counter these claims, Koberger's defense team has turned to a genealogist. Genealogists are experts in studying family histories and tracing genetic connections through genealogical records, public databases, and DNA analysis. In this case, the defense team is hoping that the genealogist can uncover any potential discrepancies or alternative explanations for the DNA evidence presented by the prosecution. The defense's move to bring in a genealogist signals a strategic shift in their approach. By delving into Koberger's family history and potential genetic matches, they aim to challenge the validity of the prosecution's DNA evidence. This unique approach could introduce new perspectives on the DNA findings and potentially cast doubt on their relevance to the case. This development also sheds light on the evolving role of modern technology and expertise in legal battles. The use of genealogists to investigate and challenge DNA evidence showcases the growing interdisciplinary nature of criminal defense strategies. It underscores how diverse fields can come together to provide a comprehensive understanding of complex legal issues. However, this move has not been without controversy. Critics argue that genealogical methods might not be foolproof and could lead to unreliable conclusions. The reliance on public databases and the potential for false positives could raise concerns about the accuracy of the genealogist's findings. As the legal proceedings continue, the inclusion of a genealogist in Brian Koberger's defense team adds an intriguing layer to the case. It introduces questions about the boundaries and ethics of utilizing various fields of expertise to support legal arguments. The outcome of this approach could potentially impact future cases that rely heavily on DNA evidence and genealogical research. The use of genealogists in legal defense is a relatively novel concept that prompts discussions about the intersection of science, technology, and law. As the case unfolds, it will be interesting to see how the genealogist's findings and analysis influence the courtroom dynamics and the overall perception of the DNA evidence. In conclusion, Brian Koberger's defense team's decision to hire a genealogist to challenge the DNA evidence tying him to the Idaho murders marks a significant term in the case. This move showcases the innovative ways legal strategies are evolving to include expertise from various fields. The use of genealogists introduces a new angle to the legal battle, raising questions about the accuracy and reliability of DNA evidence and criminal proceedings. As the case continues to unfold, the impact of this approach on the outcome and its broader implications for future cases remain to be seen.